Okay, guys, winter time is almost here, and we're going to get this snow plowing equipment all built up and ready today so that when the first snowstorm hits, I think next week, we're going to be prepared. So we're in Elm Creek right now where our snow plowing shop is, and we've got a brand new shop. We're going to tour that today, build out a bunch of custom trucks, and also plows too. We're going to have wheel loaders, skid steers, all the equipment that you need for a snow plowing company. And uh, so the first setup we got here is an F550. It's got the service bed on the back, plenty of tools if we have to fix anything. This is kind of like the service truck. And then we got a plow on the front of it, the Western Wideout XL. This is a great plow for doing the parking lots. You can fold in the wings and then it makes it smaller. So if you got to get into tight spaces, it makes it a hundred times easier. And overall, it's a really cool truck. It's got the spare tire up top. You guys have seen this before. So let's jump in and uh, head over to the shop. So what we did right here is we raised up the plow and it also has the lane marker. So when you're inside the cab, you can see where your plow's angled and then you can angle it all from the touch of a button inside. You don't even have to get out of the truck to turn it, adjust it, anything. It's uh, all electronic, so it's pretty cool. And this thing is a great truck. It's got a Cummins diesel in it. Air horns too, so if there's anyone that gets in the way, we just honk the horn at them. And they're sure to move. These are Buell Strombo air horns. These are like train level grade and uh, there's the shop, so... Let's pull in. Enough talking. We should probably do some tour. I want to give you guys a little tour of it all and just uh, show you what's going on because we're going to be here for the whole winter time. We're not going to move shops. The last building that we had for snow plowing, we did sell. It was across the road. We got a $5 million offer and uh, we, we took it. So uh, right here, we're across from the grocery store, which is pretty cool. Lunch breaks are going to be made easy. We'll be able to run across the street, grab some lunch, and then run back. We're going to have a couple guys working for us. Alfred, obviously, he's coming back. So comment down below if you'd like to see Alfred be maybe our executive assistant. He'll be running all the operations probably in here if you guys want him to come help us. Uh, here's our office. I mean, it is gigantic. These are like 14-foot ceilings. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, oh, big overhead doors, obviously, to get the wheel loader. Uh, we got a giant box plow for that. And back here, we've got the service area. Some tractor duels over here. I don't know why those are there. Uh, big overhead lights, too. I just turned them on. So that's for the back. And then let's turn the lights on over here. Show you guys how bright it is. It's so nice when we're working on equipment. It's just nice lights and uh, it's, it's pretty cool. We got a lot of equipment here, turbos. We got some oil mixture, batteries, uh, tire jacks here. A lot of cool stuff. So we'll be able to service the equipment in-house. Save us some money. We got vending machines. Yes, sir. And then over here, some parts we got to get. The F-250 we have, we're going to be building. Needs an oil change already. Wow. We haven't even built the truck. It needs an oil change. And a couple other cool stuff, a little calendar here. And then in the middle, we're going to write out all of our jobs. So we know where we're going, what we're doing. Uh, we're going to have night shifts and everything. So it's pretty cool. Let's get the overhead door opened up here. Take the button top green one. There we go. And then you can pause it wherever you want. If you want to stop it midway or whatever, I'm just going to leave it all the way up. Uh, both doors are really cool. I do love the look of the building. We've got the industrial metal steel look. Um, it's, it's just a heavy duty building. If there ever was a hurricane, which there's not in Elm Creek because it snows, uh, it would be completely fine. It's just such a heavy duty building. And they also finished it off inside. They put wood on the walls to make it feel complete and everything. So let's drop the plow down. Actually, uh, a buddy of mine told me not to leave the plow up when the truck is parked because it puts stress on the plow mount. So you don't want to have it in the air as long as you want, you know, uh, just leave it down. It just keeps the stress off the frame of the truck and everything. Cause obviously a plow mount is aftermarket. It's not built in with these trucks and uh, it's already going to have potential of breaking. So that's just a little tip we're going to do. Um, we're going to need a lot of stuff. I'm just saying a plowing business needs three skid steers, three trucks, two wheel loaders, semi trucks, semi trailers. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to hop up into build mode for all the trucks. We're going to build out some cool trucks, bring them on back here, do a tour. And then we got to add some uh, some gates to this property and clean it up a little bit. We need some flowers. We need to make it a little bit better. Got to be presentable with the business, maybe some parking lines over on the side of the building. So I'll see you guys once we're uh, starting to build these trucks out. All right, guys, this is the first truck or the second truck we're going to have built out. So we're going to build a GMC 2500 uh, ET4. So it's a really good truck, heavy duty, got the gigantic all-terrain BF Goodrich tires on it. And it's just a really good truck for snow plowing. So we're going to do all the options on it. I did actually already customize a Ram. So we're going to have a Ram, a GMC, and a Ford. A little bit of everything because I know people have different tastes. But uh, this gray, I don't know what this gray is called. It's called just gray. And it looks really good with that brown interior seating. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to do a simple base truck. It's got a plow mount on the bottom of it. It's got a toolbox on the back. It's got a trailer hitch gooseneck toolbox. I mean, just literally everything's cool on it. And it's also got a Duramax diesel engine, just like my Cummins diesel over here. Turbo diesel. 
This one's a dually too, so it's be able to push, uh, push a little bit more heavier snow. And this one, probably better for going through the snow. Uh, it's got the bigger tires on it, and it's cool. So we got two work trucks now, so we're looking good. Oh my gosh, you can hear the turbo tuner in the back. Let's do this thing wind up. Oh my gosh. Interior, very clean. I love the brown leather seating. It's very comfortable when you got 10 hour plow days. Um, all right, well, next step. Now that we get our trucks out, we're gonna grab two plows for them, three skid steers, three skid steer plows, a semi, a wheel loader, a box plow, and a semi trailer. So I'm gonna customize all that. We're gonna save you the pain of having to watch me do that. And uh, we're gonna build them all out and we'll show you what everything looks like when we're all done. Alrighty, we're getting everything loaded up here, but we've got some Caterpillar skid steers, the 289Ds, and then we've got a Volvo wheel loader. Check this beast out. This is the L180H. This is like the biggest uh, wheel loader Volvo offers. I'm pretty sure, if not one of the biggest for commercial equipment, and we've got the gigantic boss box plow on this thing. This is the greatest lifesaver for when we're doing big parking lots and stuff. You can go about 40 miles an hour. This is for airport runways, all that fancy stuff. It's just, you know, you go big or go home. So we've got this giant box plow. We're going to load this thing up on the trailer. And I'm going to show you. We've got the flashers on and everything just to make sure. So what we do for this process is we have to load the box plow up on its own, disconnect it, and then we can load the wheel loader up. So we got to do our best job positioning it here. It's going to be a little bit of tricky getting this thing on. But we're going to angle it as close as we can. We've got the Caterpillar skid steer on up the front. And you can see we angled the snow plow over the top of the trailer. So it should work okay. Even with turning, it's not going to affect the semi, which is perfect. And uh, yeah, let's get this box plow on. It's not going to be perfect, but as long as we can get it on, drop it, and get the wheel loader on the back, there should be enough space. All right, we dropped that, and oh my gosh, it's going to be tight. All right, this is what it looks like. I think we're going to have to fold the ramps up and then figure out how to get the Volvo on, but it's going to fit. Ready? Three, two, one. And there you go. We got it on the back of the trailer. The ramps are probably going to be broken, but uh, we'll be all fine. Now, that thing's heavy, um, but it works good. And then, yeah, that's everything loaded up. That's as much as we can get on. So if we're doing bigger parking lots, we're going to run the semi setup. So this is our semi setup. Also, we could load up some plows on this side. Ah, that'd be cool if we could get the skid steers on this side too, if we moved it over a bit. Let's right, give me ideas. Uh, give me three seconds. One, two, and a three. We got one of the skid steers on. I thought we were going to get both, but they're a lot bigger than you think. These skid steers are very heavy duty. But at least we got two skid steers on there, and they've got the plows that go with them. So... That works out good. We'll run this back on its own. Other than that, we're going to take the first load on back to the shop. And geez, this semi is towing good. This is the Volvo Semi. It's got the flashers on it, which is a must. We must have flashers, especially when you're running at, at night. You can see on the top there, we got that. We got the running lights. Obviously, it's got the Volvo diesel engine in it, and that's a great engine. They put them in boats, cars, trucks, everything, and they're just really good engines, I think. Especially the diesel ones. And uh, yeah, we're going to run back to the shop. Like I said, get this unloaded. I wish I could show you guys these things in action if it's snowing, but that's when you got to come back to the next snow plowing video so that we can really test them out. And that's going to be the, the fun video because we're going to be snow plowing. So it's really satisfying. This one's a setup, but this is fun too because we get to spend a bunch of money and buy some cool equipment. And if you guys have any suggestions down below, don't hesitate to put them down there and uh, we'll buy some more stuff. Obviously, we're going to keep buying more equipment. We've got plenty of shop space. Check this out. I'm going to pull right in the shed. Oh my gosh, look at how close that is. That wheel loader is just clearing it on the trailer. But all right, that's good right there. We're going to go grab the two trucks and the skid steer. And then when everything's set up here, we'll do a kind of a full rundown of everything we've got. Like I said, we've got three skid steers, all the cool stuff. But let's go grab the two other trucks and uh, get them ready to go with the plows. All right, I forgot to show you guys the Ram we've got. So the Dodge Ram Cummins has got this satin gray color. It looks really cool. And then it's got the silver satin on the front. So... This is the two-tone package we went with. It's got the fuel rims on it. Very cool looking rims. And then we got the duals, mud flaps, all that options on it. Uh, over here, also one of the skid steers. This is the only one that has the box mini plow. So this has got the little mini plow for sidewalks and stuff, which is pretty cool if the plows aren't working because sometimes plows don't really work on sidewalks if they're uneven. So the plow right on the bottom here, or the box, it'll, uh, it'll adjust for that. So it'll like bounce up on its own. It's pretty cool. It's a little flap on the bottom here. And if there's ever like damage caused to it, you just undo these bolts, put a new one on. It's very simple. But anyhow, here's the plows that we went with for the trucks. We should probably raise it up a little bit more. There we go. Center it out. Because these things are heavy duty. These are, oh no. Well, it's also a good stopper if you hit anything. I just hit the sign there. But uh, it's it's very heavy duty. This is a giant plow for this truck. Probably a little bit oversized. But the thing with Elm Creek is there's no other snow plow companies. We're the only person in the city to get the job done. We're going to need to get it done fast. We're going to need to get it done correctly. So we had to go with the big plow. 
get the whole parking lot done in a matter of minutes. For example, that parking lot there is empty, but it's for parking. So they rent out spots during the weekends, whatever, for the football game. And we have to get that done very quickly. As well, as the gas station needs to get done quickly. So we'll, uh, we'll be done in about three minutes, I think, after we start on a property like that with these plows. And they work good as an example like this. The grocery store, what a mess during the wintertime. It's just sloppy everywhere. All the slush from the snow. Um, all right, let's pull in with this truck. We need to get this place cleaned up a little bit, get everything unloaded. We're going to back the trucks against the wall, I'm pretty sure. That way it's easy to pull out. Where Our daily driver is going to be this uh, Dodge Ram Cummins, actually. I mean, it's the most comfortable truck in the winter. Check out the interior. Very clean interior, all the leather and everything. But, uh, okay, let's get everything unloaded, and I'll catch you guys when we're done. Okay, we're back in the last plow truck into the shop, and everything looks great. It's all organized. We got the boss plow for the wheel that are unloaded. Everything is all hooked up, too. So it's pretty simple. We just want to start plowing our own lot during the first post snowfall. And, uh, yeah, this is the three trucks look great lined up, too. Let's go ahead and put the plow on the ground. Perfect. Turn it off. There you go. So that's the lineup. Three trucks, all different brand. And let us know if we should get a Chevy, too. Uh, Alfred has a Chevy truck. You might have that to bring by. Uh, the three Caterpillar skid steers, two plows, the boss plow. We get the semi just sitting here. There's no reason for it to go back here. I think we're just going to leave this open for service, but we still have plenty of space. As you can see, we could put so much more stuff in here. Maybe do like another couple of trailers. I was thinking we could do trailers. And also we could do maybe those, uh, those weird looking vehicles that have like the plows on the wings and then all the sides. And then also we could do the giant Western Star semi plow trucks with the dump truck with the salters. So we also we don't have any salters. So we got to get that too. That's probably fill up the rest of our shop here. But uh, yeah, that's about it, guys, for our snow plowing setup video. Uh, obviously, it's going to get all winter here very quickly. Elm Creek still looks like summer, but I'm telling you, it feels like 35 degrees right now. It's going to drop fast, and then so is the sun. It's going to be cloudy and snowy in no time. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next snow plowing episode. We're going to take a little bit of a break. Like I said, it's not going to snow for a couple weeks, but when it does, we'll be back and we're going to have a big blizzard cleanup. So guys, if you want to stay tuned for that blizzard video, remember to subscribe below with your notifications on. That way you don't miss out. So thank you so much for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.